Martin Odegaard. Nice. Yep, that's what I want. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new upgraded Moy Gomez card uh, released. This is my actual account. This one you have to do uh, through balls, driven shots, and goals for each win, right? So uh, I can't do the review on Footbin in regards to the specifics of the card because he's not available on their uh, on their database yet, right? So uh, this 88 version of a card is going to be very interesting to try out because there's a lot of things to uh, take into consideration with it. He's five foot nine with medium medium work rates, four star skill moves, and a five star weak foot. So a five star weak foot is a really huge thing to have on this card, right? So I could see him being a very usable. Uh, cam right off the bat right central cam position maybe even a center mid position on the left side because he does have decent defensive awareness and we're going to get into that a little bit so um, if we take a look at this card in regards to the specific stats he's got 83 acceleration with 80 sprint speed so it could be something that you want to improve on the card he has 88 finishing with 85 shot power 89 long shots with 79 composure so we're looking at inconsistent finishing a little bit right so you may want to improve the composure as well as the finishing stat in general but as you guys know if you do that then you won't be able to um you won't be able to increase his pace which may not be a problem for you it really depends on the situation of how you view the game it could be a thing where it's like you may want to just keep the composure as it is and then just give him like a marksman chemistry style to make his shooting better and his dribbling stats better in general because if we check out the older moy gomez you can see that with the marksman chemistry style, you're still getting a plus five in reaction. So plus five in reactions is very important because this card in particular would get 84 reactions. So it might be one of those cards where you would have to sacrifice uh, the the composure being low for, for you to improve other areas of the pitch, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try him out on the basic chemistry style because he does get some decent boosts here and there in regards to um, what could and may not make him good. So uh, we're going to go ahead and use this team right here with him in the central cam position. We're going to go ahead and use Odegaard up top because it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because Odegaard's actually pretty solid in this game, shooting-wise. He's on his left foot. He's very, very nice. Moy Gomez has 94 stamina as well. So because he has that 94 stamina, telling him to come back on the fence is not going to be an issue, right? So we're going to go ahead and see how he plays in-game in the cam position, and then I will let you guys know if... Uh, if he requires a specific chemistry style. This should be an interesting team to try him out in, to be honest with you. It's got, this is like a cool team. There's like a lot of like different things in it. Through my notes at this one, everything points into a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? Nice positioning so far with him to offer himself in the central cam position. So it's pretty good so far. I like his general off the ball movement right here to utilize that empty space. Gonna go back, see how his transition is. Transition's good too, man. So he goes back into position really nicely. Now he can use utilize this middle space right here. Okay, so he's blocking the middle a lot, so he might be using overload ball side, so that's okay. We just have to switch the play a lot when people start to do that. Nice interception there, Amoy Gomez. Good defensive play. So his dribbling, I can tell you right off the bat, needs to be more responsive because he doesn't have that really uh, quick cut dribbling that uh, you definitely need in that central cam position so in that situation because his reactions is low he doesn't really do certain things quick enough so right off the bat i can tell you that i do want to give him an engine chemistry style and that's almost odegaard with some powerful strike right there odegaard's very good at the power strikes with his left foot defending there with odegaard we're gonna go ahead and force that run there with moy gomez call him back here Oh, man. That's the problem with Odegaard is the fact that his weak foot's not great. So in those situations, not going to be able to hit those. If you guys only knew what I was doing on my controller right there for him to do a random flick. I did a heel to heel right there and he did a flick backwards. So. Yeah, that's what it is right there. So you see how... When you get him on his five-star weak foot, once you get that angle, you don't have to worry about the fact that it's on his left foot because of that five-star, right? So that, in combination with shot power being increased, has to be taken into consideration, right? So we're looking at, I believe it was 88 finishing with 89 or 88 shot power. So 
that might not happen if you remove the basic chemistry style. So that's another thing you have to take into consideration with the card. Great off the ball movement right there. Again, you can tell the dribbling, like the gameplay is not good right now. Obviously, it's it's actually one of the worst, but like his dribbling is still not up to par. You definitely need to improve it because then he's going to do a lot of emphasis touches that you don't want. Yeah, good dribbling. Might be able to open up the space really nicely with Odegaard. Nice little goal right there. So, uh, yeah, very nice right there. His dribbling, you can still see there's a little bit of emphasis on it. Again, gameplay's not good, so they're going to do that anyways. But it, you could still feel that the card itself needs that upgrade. So far, what I can tell you is that maybe I wouldn't care too much about giving him that pace boost because I think you have to sacrifice the pace in my genuine opinion. And uh, what I'm thinking so far is I want to give him the chemistry style that's going to boost his uh, passing, shooting, and dribbling. So I believe that's the maestro chemistry style because 88's finishing is already good. You know, it's not like good enough because you know how the finishing is, but Increasing the shot power with the maestro chemistry style, his dribbling, so his reactions is higher, his agility bounce or, what, or whatever the maestro increases. It's mostly the reactions that need to be increased. I think it's going to be very important. So we're going to go ahead and try, try out the maestro after this game uh, to see what's up with that. Yeah, it's just that left stick. His skill moves come off really nicely. It's that left stick that's a little bit, you see how it's a little bit pulled? You don't want it to be pulled, man. You want the animation to come off quickly. Yeah, that's Odegaard's left foot, yeah. <laughs> Once you get it on Odegaard's left foot, his power strikes are amazing, man. Nice. Odegaard utilizing that empty space. Ball roll, get him on his left foot. Yeah. I... Mm. Good shielding there with Moy Gomez. Get that near post angle. Heel to heel to get away from the defender a little bit. Yeah. I need that I need that responsive left stick dribbling with the card. Oh, he still has it. Oh my god, with this five star week for he screws it up that much. I that's that's a combination of his uh his composure right there for sure, but it's one of the things that, that you would probably have to sacrifice anyways. Okay guys, so this time we're gonna go ahead and give him the engine chemistry style because I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, it's probably the best uh chemistry style you can actually give him because of the fact that you're just gonna have to sacrifice his shooting he needs that extra pace boost the plus five plus five is very important he needs the dribbling boost especially passing is whatever because he already has passing stats but we're gonna go ahead and try him out with the engine chemistry style and hopefully he performs a little better in game with the dribbling and stuff the lineup for the home side in goal Kepa Arisa Balaga. He always he always offers himself defensively. Like he always does well defensively. See that quick dribbling? You can already feel it instantly. Just from the first touch that he did, and then an instant skill move already makes a huge difference, man. Nice. Yep, that's what I want. I want them to overcommit in the tackle so that I can specifically use the left stick dribble to fake it and then kind of like get into the space, right? So, really good play right there. Ball roll touch. There it is, and then five-star weak foot finish. You can see that, like, the finishing, like... Finishing is one part of the gameplay that you obviously want to have, but the general experience of the card, having that pace, having that dribbling, and that passing boost is massive, bro. Alright guys, so final verdict on the card. Guys, huge difference when you give him an engine chemistry style. Massive. This card's actually very, very usable. I sometimes, when I was using him, I was sometimes feeling like, you know what, I wish Bruno Fernandes felt like this, right? With the engine chemistry style, his 88 finishing, 85 shot power, 79 composure is just good generic finishing. He won't be able to take specific shots consistently. You know, you'll find yourself hitting the post sometimes with this card in regards to being in specific positions under certain pressure. But generally speaking, he was a very usable cam, right? That five-star weak foot is what helps out this card so much 
established to make him a god in regards to passing, dribbling. You will you definitely notice the dribbling increase on the card when you slap that engine chemistry style on him because the plus 9 for the bounce, the specific plus 5 for reactions, 9 for ball control, and plus 10 for dribbling makes a huge difference. He essentially gets perfect passing as well, which is really, really nice to have in a general sense because even if you're off balance in certain situations, he's still going to be able to hit that pass. So the shooting wasn't completely bothersome. It does make the card more usable if you give him that engine chemistry style. And it's honestly the only thing I would genuinely recommend on him. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. We have a lot of player reviews to review today. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with those. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.